and you can visualize those matrices with the with the, with the spin good at the spin spin uh, spin good uh, at beam clients and even though the micrometer and the micrometer plus Gafana plus uh, plus uh, glass from ATOC can visualize those information the the matrix information with as graphically that's why I say that you can you can you can look for the my channels the spin cast number eighteen this be monitoring this spin boot application with the, with these titles. So if we, we select it and then we have all the dependency injected and we build a, uh, all the dependency and see it's it's really properly designed. It has a group ID, it has artifactory ID, and it has names and then the packaging packaging approach and then the, the Java versions depending which version you are. We are working last year that they selected as a default Java version eight and then so on and so forth. Even though you can if you select any dependency then you can search from here and it works automatically it's really 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 proper way to handle the you build you uh, your really proper way you your project structure when you build the the project structure building is done then you can you can import the projects uh, into the you generate the project you see the generate the project is done and then you import this project into the your respective IDE. That means, so if here that you see that I, I import the projects and I unzipped these projects, and then uh, I will uh, we will go to the, the any IDE you can uh, normally we I use here as a, in, in Eclipse IDE. You can use also other IDE like IntelliJ IDE, and then so on so forth, depending which IDE you are prefer. And then this ID is, is, is just unzip the projects and import the projects from the your local directory and the ID will see. If you see the project I already imported, I did the implementation is done. Just I try to recap, uh, I try to give it to you uh, the, how the implementation is done because I already did, because it will take more times when I directly on live programming, this is take more time. I do, we didn't have enough time to do that one. That's why we put it, the all implementation is done and then we try to to give it to you how can you start the developments how can you structure it how can you build the projects how can you import the projects and how can you start the projects depending your use cases for for our use cases it is the microservice based on the uh, you you if you are living in city area how can you manage and control the city development like uh, like the buildings uh, floors and uh, units of the buildings and in, even though roads and plots information if you say if you are living the how, how buildings that the plots and one plot has many 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 buildings and one buildings has many floors and one floors has many unit that's the our our requirement our specification for these projects maybe you have different uh, different use cases that doesn't matter which use cases you have it but the idea how can you start the projects and how can you start the, all the ORM JPA mapping, objectivational mapping with the Cassandra database? And this is the simply same same thing everywhere. But use cases is different. That's that's the that's a, that's our that's that we try to give it to you how our UK our use case we implemented. But your case maybe your use case is different than than our use cases. But I believe we believe it is the same everywhere. But different use cases you can set up for the for that one. So we import the projects and then uh, you see the uh, we try to import the projects. We already import these projects and we go to the, the existing Maven projects and then you can browse it where the your projects located. You see the projects is workspace and you select the specific projects like from the from your C directory and then you just import the Cassandra projects. That's we have it. I have many projects, but you select the Cassandra one of them. The, Cassandra projects. <clears throat> uh, this is Elastic Search project, but we uh, unfortunately we need to the the Cassandra one. So this is the same way because we have the Elastic Search already. Uh, Cassandra was already imported. We newly uh, just by showing how it's imported the projects. So it that's it, that's everybody knows. This I need to little bit talk about. You port you how the application will be started server.port that's application.eml properties file even though you can application.eml file to write and then you can write down you where you need to be deployed or when you need to be 
run uh, your applications if for our case it's locally deployed applications and then locally cassandra database server is, is installed here so you just write down where and which port is running it's just simply localhost you can you can replace it and even though in the reality in the production level that's i said in the when i try to externally configure the uh, the the the, the projects uh, external uh, external configuration files in the, in the spring boot profiles and then what we need to do just to replace uh, we will override this the service dot port number which port are free in the, in the respect installation pc machine and then uh, the which the ip address of the machine and that's all it's it works automatically and then other thing it is everything is same so that means this is the application dot properties file will be override uh, based on the profiles uh, development test release or qa or, or productions doesn't matter which profile oh, that's i that's then, then you can just simply override externally these files and then deploy the application or install the application in respective machines because for this case for our case we just did locally tested it we locally deploy it and then check it everything and when we, we packed it as jar files and then uh, we we configured the jar file with the external application the properties files with the spring boot profile concept and then install the thousands of machine these applications let's have a continue how can we do that So it is the our local Cassandra is installed the Cassandra points that's everybody knows if you don't know it then you can google it and take uh, set these values so my our Cassandra data some non-sql database or in-memory database in the into the local install so we put it here this is default Cassandra port uh, 9042 and then key space uh, the you Cassandra key space you need to be set it here and then Cassandra user and the pass password that's all that's the all you need to be configured and all things all the uh, properties need to be override externally that's i uh, that's i said in the end of the screencast i will show you how can you pack the jar files and how can you configure externally those those properties externally and build a build a uh, build a build a build a build and deploy the application into the into the your into the your so i will i will go a little bit up huh? so you see that one of the examples like that's i'm, I'm trying to entity so this every everywhere is same but just i give it to you really clear idea what it means so the, everybody knows the entity means it will build one specific uh, tables or an object into the your respective database if you you know the a SQL database like uh, Postgres, uh, MySQL, or Oracle, and so DB2 or Informex. Uh, this is depending with database you are, but it's same same and JPA entity. This everything is same. It doesn't doesn't make any any special things. That's what I mean. So it has an entity and it has an ID. It has a generated ID values. It has a some own the plot information. So you see that there is a mapping between plots info it has own information like plot code plot name plot type and then plot number mosa number and so on and so forth and even though the plot central coordinate latitude longitude and then uh, and the plot height from the mean sea level and then total area and then total billing coverage area and then so on and even though you can put the pictures in them then as a byte format and then uh, format and then you can do this this one also and there is a mapping okay this is our diagrams like our flow uh, one plots has many 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 authentication for uh, authorization from different institute like maybe one plot if you have one plot maybe the utility company will provide the the the, the utilities like gas electricity water and that's why uh, we put it like the one plot has one too many uh, authorization informations that means you can connect or you collect or you mapped it like in the one to many one if you have one plots how can you manage the other information like the utility provider like electricity gas water internet and media connections that means 
if you are really in the in the professional application like